Welcome to This Is More Architecture. I'm Lana with AWS, and today we're talking with Jay from Sneak. Hey, Jay. Hey, Lana. Thank you for coming down. Would you mind telling us about Sneak? Sure. Sneak is a developer-first application security company providing security controls within the tools that developers are using today to build their modern applications. CI CD pipelines are the heart of a development cycle. So how can we use me as a developer, uh, Sneak, as a part of code pipeline on AWS? Great question. So the Sneak action type is available to developers today that are using the code pipeline service um, as a free integration that they can simply use a pull down menu and enable right within their code pipeline service. And how is this action different from, let's say, pulling down your source code from a repo? So the neat thing about this integration is that we heard our customers cry. Developers are always wanting to work fast, develop fast, and the last thing they want to do is be burdened with additional tooling or anything like that. So this integration provides security controls right within that experience without developers having to leave the AWS console. Um, and why is it important to scan for vulnerabilities as a part of your build? Yeah, that's a great question. So we've published a security report that um, polled a number of different uh, respondents. And what we found was that uh, vulnerabilities are growing in the past three years by a rate of two and a half times. So we're anticipating that in the next four years or so, 70% of vulnerabilities are going to affect containers and misconfigurations of those as well. So it's crucial for developers to have actionable insights early in the process or shift left in order to avoid those pitfalls down the road. Gotcha. So I select a new action type, which is a sneak check. Um, what happens next? Right. So what happens next is the code pipeline service is going to direct the customer to our API gateway running on the sneak infrastructure. Um, at that endpoint, we're going to authenticate the customer. If they're a new customer, it happens immediately. If they're an existing customer, they can authenticate. And then some additional metadata is going to be processed into our DynamoDB table, where we're going to make the association of that customer with the code pipeline, the specific pipeline in code pipeline that they're using. So we're pulling in the artifacts from S3 bucket, and, um, and we are scanning them for vulnerabilities. Right, so that's the first flow for this integration, which is initial setup and then configuration. The customer is going to select a few options for how they want their integration to behave. Uh, things like whether they want to fail uh, the build if there's any vulnerabilities or if they're developing and they just want to explore, they can opt out of that. Um, but after that happens, any subsequent run from the customer's pipeline through this code pipeline service is going to interact directly with our AWS Lambda that's sitting in our infrastructure. That Lambda function is going to write some information into EventBridge that's going to capture state and things like that. And then a series of additional Lambda functions that are in step functions are going to go through the complex logic of determining which customer's pipeline uh, is associated with our configuration information, where the objects are, um, the artifacts that we're going to be scanning. So as part of this integration, the uh, code pipeline service is going to take the uh, source code that's in their SCM, and it's going to create a copy of that in an S3 bucket in the customer's account. These step functions will then consume that artifact and then go through a series of steps on whether we're doing a full scan, whether we're doing partial scans, things like that. And what we're doing is we're looking for the package or the manifest files, uh, package.json if it was a node yeah. app. Um, and we're going to look through what vulnerabilities are uh, potentially there from some of the open source dependencies that are in the customer's uh, source code. And we've got some results, let's say, how do I remediate or what do I do with this information that is now in my S3 bucket? Right, so the report is going to be provided to the customer within the code pipeline service where they can see an HTML uh, rendered report on what those vulnerabilities are. Now, if you're a code pipeline customer today, you have a number of different options for which SCM products um, you happen to use. It could be code commit, it could be Atlassian Bitbucket or GitHub. Um, we have integrations with each of those SCMs as well. And what happens is that a developer that's using, let's say, Atlassian Bitbucket as an example, um, they're able to then uh, submit uh, fixed pull requests through Sneak 
to their Bitbucket repository so that they can remediate those vulnerabilities. Once they've committed that through that integration, the next pipeline run will trigger another scan of their source code. And the idea here is to iteratively go through and pay down some of the technical debt with some of the vulnerabilities that we're finding so that you're confident that the application you're deploying is not going to contain any vulnerabilities. Awesome. Jay, thank you so much for coming down today and telling us a little bit more of how to make our code more secure and easier to use for developers. Thank you, Lana. And thank you for watching. This is my architecture.